Hello everyone, this is Valerie here. I just thought I'd share with you a cheap and cheerful flower that I added to my garden this year, which packs a punch. But before I get to it, what I want to do is just take you from the top of the entrance. This is um, the right hand side of the entrance to our property. Okay, because we have so much color here. I just want to show with share it with you okay here in the barrel you are actually looking at ornamental onions now the ornamental onions they do come out in the late um, summer but they do pack a punch with their pink pom-pom heads they're throughout the garden and what I like about them apart from them adding that color to the garden is that they attract pollinators the butterflies love them and the bees love them too so that is one plant which you could add to your garden if you're looking to bring pollinators in now here we also have the crescent the moms the crescent the moms are usually more like a fall flower so they have just started coming in you can see the pretty pink blooms here it almost looks a bit iridescent but they have um, just started coming in and of course they will last into the fall we do have some poppies here they are not in bloom right now further around we, we do have some poppies that are in bloom another thing which adds color in the garden are these French marigolds and guess what they start somewhere before mid summer they start blooming and they do last into the fall so they are long lasting blooms now in the middle over here we do have some white just to add that contrast i did plant a few more seeds but they didn't come up in all the places i wanted them to come up in but you can see them here and over here there's a little more and over here there is quite a bit that white alisum just adds that contrast against the french marigold and contrast in your garden is always a good thing now let's take you further around and you can see some coneflower over there and over here is what I wanted to show you. Now these, what you're looking at here, are my four o'clock. These are called four, four o'clock. <laughs> Try saying that fast, eh? These are called four o'clock flowers and they have different colors. Guess what? I picked them up in the dollar store. I think they were probably about a dollar twenty-five there about and I figure you know what let's give these a try because I had the space in the front of the garden that I had just created because I expanded the car garden I keep expanding the garden each time I keep taking in a little more lawn <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna take in anymore I don't think my husband will be very happy because he wants the space to be able to maneuver in the driveway However, we're talking about our four, four o'clock flowers. The blooms are very pretty. There's a yellow, and there's a light pink, and then there's this intense fuchsia pink, which is so cool and add such color to the front of the garden here that one is variegated and there's more variegation here and over here there's more yellow and more variegated blooms and these are just lovely because guess what i planted them early summer and they actually grew pretty well and not only are they 
given me that bloom now but they started actually adding greenery to the space they do take up some space so you have to make sure that you have some space for them and if you do have some space that you want to plant something in to like cover the area they do spread out pretty good and when they start blooming they actually when they started blooming at first i was thinking hmm i'm not even getting any blooms don't tell me this is what i'm i'm gonna be getting like they're barely opening up but then i did some research and i realized that these actually open later in the afternoon and that is why they are referred to as four o'clock flowers now i've also noticed that when it's not very sunny they will open okay so i get it's that atmosphere between very light and before it gets very dark that they like and so if you plant your four o'clock flowers and you don't see them coming out when the blooms started coming in if they're not opening during the day don't worry they'll open later in the afternoon okay so this is what i wanted to share with you my four o'clock flowers and of course here we have some poppies in the background and these poppies are pretty colorful they have that light airy petal that almost look like they're a bit unstructured like they're a bit ripped and you know what i've never done this before but i've decided that because i have so many poppy heads and i'll be getting so many seeds i am gonna go ahead and share my poppies on my etsy store so i will be selling poppy seeds from this variety of poppy in my Etsy store in the fall so you can check it out the name of the store is shop s-h-o-p-p-e f-r-u-g-a-l f-i-n-d-s shop frugal finds so there you have it I wanted to share with you my four o'clock flowers so three things they are i usually say cost effective but these were cheap because i bought them in the dollar store number two they will take up some space for you if you have ground to color to cover and number three they will give you that punch of color that you need in your garden so go ahead and plant some four o'clock flowers now thanks so much for watching my videos for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and please hit that bell button so you can be notified of new videos thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for telling somebody about my channel because there is no us without you. So until next time, you plant some four o'clock summer flowers for your summer garden and you take care now. Peace.